Ever wondered how to bring your 3D character or objects to life in Blender? The secret lies in the Armature modifier, a tool that lets you rig and animate anything from character to complex machinery with ease. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through in the entire process step by step so you can start animate in no time stick around because we are about to dive into one of blender's most powerful animation tool let's begin by setting up a mesh object okay let's add this cube uh, sorry delete this cube press x and delete shift a and add suzanne monkey press 1 to toggle front menu Okay, I will use this uh, monkey mesh to elaborate armature modifier. So, before start, we will need to add some armature, basic armature. Okay, let's add a bone, shift A and go to the armature and single bone. Okay toggle the front menu and uh, you can see this is uh, showing us only a head of the bone whole bone entire this uh, head so how we, we can bring it up so simply select this bone go to the object data property and uh, here expand viewport display and check in front you can see now this is in front where you can move your scene and okay let's make a skeleton g uh, okay let's add okay on three uh, left menu here and go to the edit mode to edit this skeleton this mode okay g and okay extrude it bit here and now extrude it here but if we toggle 7 uh, press 7 it toggle us on top menu g here and press g select and press g to bring it up here and extrude for years similarly and extrude it bit here now here is our skeleton and okay let's adjust it okay G and here now toggle 3 menu and G and G ok now here our skeleton is uh, well adjusted so it's time to pair this skeleton with this object connect this skeleton with this object so you can see if you select your mesh go to the modifier tab here is no and no any modifier on the mesh so if we select first mesh our and press control and our oh sorry shift and select this skeleton right click or press control P and here's bunch of options you just select this one with automatic weights what it actually do it create all weights with individually uh, bones so you can see here if i want to uh, select this mesh go to this vertex group vertex property menu and you can see this is for bone one two three four five and also all bones so this create its weight so this option parent option create its weight and now you can see if you select this mesh automatically add this armature option 
and select this armature and if you check this option it uh, deform the mesh very smoothly and nicely okay let's check it the bones uh, deform mesh well or not okay let's select this ear shape and r rotate it so you can see this is okay and now you can see it's working good toggle to the front menu press r now you can see this is also good nice and here here the parent of main parent of this skeleton okay now here you can add subdivision surface also to uh, get smoother shape increase it and now if you can see if i place this uh, subdivision on top you can see if i want to the pose mode and rotate it you can see our cursor not doing well it's flickering and and if i want to add this bottom the armature tab and you can see if we move this weights you can see it smoothly work it cannot the messy for uh, our system so right uh, so this is right way to add subdivision surface behind the armature tab and now you can select it uh, the armature modifier offer a few settings preserve uh, volume this keep the shape of the model more natural when binding sorry when bending so part don't distort as much and uh, vertex group allow you to control which vertices each bone affected this is useful if you want precise control over deformation for complex models basically it uh, when you parent these uh, both it automatically adjust its settings and all our mature modifier settings also and that's it you know have a fully rigged model ready for animation the armature modifier open up a world of possibilities for animating character creatures or even mechanical objects if this tutorial helped you get started with rigging in blender make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more blender tips and tutorials share this video with anyone you know who's looking to set up their 3d animation skills thanks for watching and happy animating